Imagine enjoying the best VPN without any device limits. That's the magic of a VPN on router. Worried it's too tricky to set up? Don't be. I'll break it down into simple, stress-free steps. To start a VPN router setup, we first need to see if your router is compatible. The most important thing here is that it can support open VPN configurations. For the best performance, the OpenVPN version should be 2.5 or higher. You can usually find this information in your router's manual or product specifications. If you're using a router provided by your ISP, chances are it won't allow a VPN setup due to imposed restrictions. In cases like this, investing in a standalone VPN compatible router is your best bet. Most VPN providers, including NordVPN, support OpenVPN protocols like TCP and UDP for router setups. While some offer WireGuard configurations, that's not always a sure thing. Besides, not all routers support WireGuard anyway, so OpenVPN remains the go-to choice. For this tutorial on how to set up a VPN server on your home router, I'm using an Asus device. Asus is known for its strong VPN compatibility and user-friendly setup process, and I'm pairing it with NordVPN as the provider. If you still need a VPN, you can get NordVPN at the lowest price possible by scanning this QR code or clicking on the link in the description. Now that we have a compatible router and a suitable VPN, let's dig into how to install VPN on router. A quick heads up guys, the setup process might vary depending on your router and the VPN you choose. Anyhow, start by accessing your router's control panel. Most modern routers have the login info conveniently printed on the back. For this model, I simply type 192.168.1.1 into my browser's address bar. A login pop-up appears, and the default credentials are usually admin for both the username and password. Once logged in, you'll find yourself in a somewhat retro-looking control panel. Head to the left sidebar, click on the VPN section, and then select the VPN client option. To get started, you'll need to create a profile by clicking on Add Profile and filling in the details under the Open VPN tab. The description can be anything you like, while the username and password come from your Nord account dashboard, labeled as service credentials. Simply copy and paste those, and don't forget to enable auto reconnect for a seamless experience. Next, you'll need the OpenVPN configuration file from your VPN provider. If you're using NordVPN like me, their server finder tool makes it easy to download a file tailored to your region. If you're feeling adventurous, you can explore advanced settings to apply server filters, but we'll keep it simple for now. Once you have the file, go back to the router settings where you entered your service credentials and upload the downloaded configuration file. Leave the checkbox at the bottom untouched then click OK. For the final step, activate your VPN connection by clicking the Active button in your router VPN settings. If everything is set up correctly, you'll see a reassuring blue check mark under your connection status. To double check that your VPN is working, visit NordVPN's website, where it'll show whether you're protected or unprotected. As you can see, my setup is done and I'm safely in the green. Congratulations, your NordVPN router VPN setup is now complete and your online experience is more secure than ever. There are some great perks to using a router VPN, but also a few drawbacks to keep in mind. The benefits? You can connect unlimited devices and have them protected automatically. No need to think about manually connecting to servers. Plus, it's a lifesaver for devices that don't natively support VPNs. On the flip side, there are some trade-offs. Changing servers isn't as seamless, and you might expect a slight dip in speed, especially since the WireGuard protocol isn't widely available for routers yet. Another downside is that all connected devices share the same VPN server, so you can't pick different servers for individual devices. Not all VPNs on the market support router setup, so let's talk about some of the best 2025 VPN router options. If you don't already have a VPN, check out the description. I'll include the best deals to help you out. First up is NordVPN, which is an excellent choice for router setups. With it, you'll gain access to a vast network of servers in 111 countries, all supporting the OpenVPN protocol you'll need. NordVPN also stands out for its robust privacy features, including an independently audited no-logs policy and privacy-friendly Panama jurisdiction. For those tackling the technical side of VPN for router configurations, their 24-7 customer support might be just what you need. Price-wise, NordVPN is one of the most affordable options on the entire market. Of course, NordVPN isn't the only top contender. Surfshark is another excellent option, offering a solid server network across 100 countries. Like Nord, Surfshark supports OpenVPN, has an independently audited no-logs policy, and provides 24-7 customer support. Though they are based in the Netherlands, a nine eyes jurisdiction, their strict adherence to privacy laws means they have no obligation to retain user data. What sets Surfshark apart is its unlimited connections and even more affordable pricing than NordVPN, which 
also offers up to 10 simultaneous connections. I also have to mention ExpressVPN as an option, which even offers a dedicated applet for certain routers. Usually when you use a VPN on your router, all connected devices are tied to the same location unless you manually change it. However, with ExpressVPN, you can take it a step further by dividing your devices up into five groups, each with its own dedicated location. This gives you much more flexibility to tailor your connection preferences across your household. That said, it's not as affordable as NordVPN or Surfshark, and it's also not as fast. Anyhow, whether you choose NordVPN, Surfshark, or ExpressVPN, these options stand out for their router compatibility, strong privacy features, and solid customer support. As I mentioned earlier, setting up a VPN on router is a pretty straightforward process. Just make sure your router is compatible and configurable. That said, even the best VPN router setups do come with some trade-offs, so picking the right VPN can make all the difference. Of course, if the downsides feel like a deal breaker, you can always use a VPN the traditional way without messing with your router at all. Got any burning questions about how to set up VPN on router? Drop them in the comments. I'm here to help. And hey, if you're into tutorials like this, stick around for more. Hit that subscribe button before you go, and I'll catch you in the next video.